Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Today we will learn about the meaning and how to use this particular word in a sentence. So let's start with the word jejun. The meaning of this word is very simple and childish. We have learned the meaning of the word jejun. Let's learn how to use it in a sentence. Our first example is how jejun and inconsiderable it seems in comparison with your great system. Our second example is in some ways these hopes and capacities are shown to be jejun and silly. Our third example is we were surprised by their jejun responses to our problems. And fourth example is, she made jejun remarks about life and art. I hope all the four examples are clear to you. Please let me know in the comment section below about your ideas and opinions about this word. It would be really nice to get some comments. Our second word is, scold or criticize someone angrily. The meaning is very much simple. It's not at all something complicated which you are unable to understand. Now we have learned the meaning of the word beret. Let's learn how to use it in a sentence. Our first example is shame faced. The students sat quietly as Mrs. Garcia continued to beret them for the way they had treated the substitute. And our second example is during his first term of office, the president was constantly having to beret Congress for obstructing his proposed legislation. Our third example will be, as the director started to parade the cast for the hundredth time, several of the lead actors walked out. And fourth example is, every time the referee made a questionable call, the fans would berate him and throw beans on the field. I hope all the four examples are clear to you. Please let me know your opinions, your sentences in the comment section below. It would be really nice to know about your opinions. Our third word is warmongering. The meaning of this word is the one who urges or attempts to stir up the war. To initiate a war or something like this, there you we can use the word warmongering. I hope the meaning is clear. It's very, very simple. You just have to practice it on a daily basis. Include these words in your daily sentences, daily language, daily routine. Now we have learned the meaning of the word warmongering. Let's learn how to use it in a sentence. Our first example is the president was accused of warmongering. Our second example is the other seemed to love the epithet of America's warmongering president. Third example is what's warmongering got to do with Freedom Road? And fourth example is some random dude just creates a new account and then starts warmongering thinking himself as having the power to do it. I hope all the examples are clear to you. Please let me know your comments or your opinions about this word in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more amazing and informative content. Thank you so much.